Hello guys, today we're going to take a look at a little robotic car and what it basically is, is an Arduino educational kit. So you get all your motors and your Arduino and I think it's controlled via Bluetooth so you'll be able to hook it up to your phone to control the little car. So this kit was sent in by AI Treasure or AITreasure.com uh, They have two options of uh, educational robot cars and I'm not exactly sure which this is but sure we'll open it up and take a look I'm pretty sure both of them are uh, controlled by an Arduino Uno and uh, are controlled by Bluetooth or are communicated with via Bluetooth to a mobile phone so I presume there's an app but we'll take a look looks to be reasonably well packaged, the box was fairly strong anyway and a bit of uh, bubble wrap in there Always a good sign. Looks like we have a little uh, instruction manual to get us going. Well, here's the contents of our kit. Uh, this is a little SD card or a little USB card, which I presume is going to have the software. So you, I presume you pull that out and spin it around. So that'll save us having to Google for the software at least. It'll speed things up a little bit. Imagine this is a little screwdriver. Yep, little Phillips. So you don't need to have a different tool it would look like that's uh, a motor driver I've I've used them before on projects there a uh, pretty good motor driver you have your heat sinks so you're able to drive a pretty uh, strong amount of current and these are fairly strong motors so that's why we have a uh, that good strong motor driver so two of those motors we tested them out before on the channel and uh, we know them to be very strong looks like Everything has DuPont connectors on it, so there's going to be no problem hooking it up. It doesn't look like we need to do any soldering at all. We have our, our two wheels here. It's, rubber is a little hard, but I'd imagine it's... Actually, it's not that bad at all. It's, I'd say it'll do the job. You're not exactly going to be going on crazy surfaces with a little robot car anyway. Uh, particularly not when you have your little... Uh, rear wheel here it's um on a little bearing there it's nice and smooth wouldn't say there'll be any problems with that then of course we have our arduino uno that's what we expected here not sure what this is ah i think this is just a breakout board so that we don't need to uh, do any wiring so we're going to plug this board on here and there's a connector for the Bluetooth and there's our Bluetooth uh, module so all we have to do is plug those together and then we're pretty much good to go looks like we're using four AA batteries and again everything has DuPont connectors or there's some spade connectors so the spade connectors maybe, they, maybe they'll fit in here hard to know just yet Here's a little bit of fittings, so that's a, a ring there, it's obviously going to be for an encoder. There's another one, so those are going to be encoders on our wheels. Maybe that's why they have these motors with the axle coming out both sides, we're going to put on that little encoder wheel there. Although I didn't notice the sensors. Maybe that's an option you can add later on yourself. I don't just see the sensors there. But uh, we clearly have uh, all these little uh, plexiglass pieces that are going to form the frame. And obviously enough this large uh, frame section here. And I would imagine there's plenty of scope to add additional uh, components to the uh, to this board. I mean we, we have what we need to get it moving here and getting it communicated. But you have all this extra space. We could add extra sensors if you wanted for obstacle avoidance and things like that. That one in particular, that looks to me like a slot for a servo. But when we build the kit, we'll see exactly what we're left with. Okay, well, what I think I'll do here is uh, record the uh, assembly on a separate video so that um, if people want to assemble it, they can just watch the assembly video. And we'll just skip ahead now to when it's assembled and we'll test it out. Alright, so here it is assembled. We'll hit the on switch. We power over there, you can see the light on. 
this is flashing so we've no connection we'll get our phone so now our app we've opened the app so the app is looking to permission to turn on bluetooth we'll say yes ok I don't know why it's doing it again but ok well it's on anyway so this bluetooth module is HCO6 I know that so I'll hit that and you see the light has now uh, stopped flashing because it's actually working so let's try so these buttons obviously control it the thing in the middle doesn't seem to do anything they don't seem to do anything Ooh. well that's apparently some sort of auto mode Okay, well that seems to have worked pretty well. The kit wasn't too difficult to assemble. Uh, I added a few little changes myself, uh, just because I didn't like that this wasn't straight. But you don't need to do that. That's not uh, a necessary thing. Uh, I did think the uh, little board here isn't finished very well. Uh, well, it's finished fine. It'll work perfectly. But you can see the uh, the header connections are slightly wonky. They're just not soldered in perfectly. And that meant that uh, the header didn't just fit perfectly. You can see a little bit of an angle there. A bit of an angle on this side as well. So it's not just perfect, but it, it is pretty good. And as you can see, it's working fine. So I'd have to say it's a decent kit for uh, for what it is. You can add to it, obviously, because you have your entire expansion board here. You've all the pins ready, so you could pretty much just plug uh, any sensors in at all that you wanted into your various uh, settings here you can plug in some servos it's obviously set up for servos uh, those header pins the three pins are your ground volt and your signal for servos so there's other connectors for different types of radios and uh, even connections for an LCD if you wanted it on uh, on your robot I guess on the chassis you have all these little slots so that's probably for a proximity sensor that would face forward and two that would face sideways so that your robot could come up to a wall, we'll say, see the object and go. There's no path this way, but there's a clear path here, so it would spin and then it would drive that way. So that's the kind of thing that you could uh, eventually do with a robot like this, if, if that's what you plan to do. I suppose I'm calling it a robot, but at the minute it's not really a robot. You're controlling it from your phone. I guess it'd be a robot if it was, uh, if it was driving around and making some sort of conscious decision itself to avoid obstacles rather than you having to uh, tell it what to do but it is a very good platform to start that kind of thing so if you're looking to get one of these yourself this one came from aitreasure.com so you can head over there and take a look they have this they have a four wheel car and they have a little robot uh, uh, kind of four legged creature kit as well so a uh, fair bit there and if you want to expand on it uh, to get more sensors than that you can get these kits on ebay that contain maybe 20 or 30 different little sensor boards and you could just bolt them in and test them out maybe you'd have a light sensitivity or sensitivity sensor where you could make the robot drive towards light maybe you'd have a little solar panel on it although it wouldn't really be that efficient but you know just something that you could try out well that's all i have to say on the kit it seems like a good little platform to get you started if you're uh, looking into robotics so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure and hit the thumbs up button and if you have any comments let me know below the video and i think that's pretty much everything so thanks very much for watching mm -hmm.